One evening, Spencer the private engine was staying at Tidmouth Sheds with the Sodor engines. He looked very distressed. The other engines tried to ignore him, but at last, Edward spoke up. Um, Spencer, is everything all right? No, Edward, everything is not all right. I've received terrible news. It's horrendous. A catastrophe! <sighs> well, what happened? What's the horrible news? The Duke and Duchess are going to replace me! So, what's the terrible news, Spencer? <laughs> Not now, James. Now, Spencer, what makes you think the Duke and Duchess would want to replace you? Well, last night, Sir Topham Hatt was visiting the Duke and Duchess for tea at their summer house. They were talking about one thing or another, and I was cooling my boiler after a long day of traveling. Suddenly, I overheard them talking about electric engines. My cousin Wendy could not stop talking about those new electrified engines on the mainland. They're sleek, fast, and efficient. They sound terribly exciting. They certainly sound impressive, but I'm rather concerned with having anything that goes that fast. There's a reason why I don't much care for racing on the main line. Still, I wouldn't mind trying one of those electric engines at least once. They'd probably be more cooperative than Spencer. So you see, my days as a private engine are coming to an end. I might as well be scrapped. Or worse, put to work on an industrial line. <sighs> you could always come and live here, Spencer. How would that be any better? <sighs> cool your pistons, Spencer. You're not going anywhere. The Duke and Duchess are probably just teasing you. Believe me. We wish it was that easy to get rid of you. Indeed. And don't think we haven't tried. And honestly, why are you so paranoid about those so-called electric engines? While some, like Stafford, have their uses, the rest are just a silly fad. Oh, really, Gordon? Because I also heard that one of those fads, as you put it, is on its way to Sodor as we speak. One of those fads is what? The engines were shaken up by the blur rushing in, but when they finally looked up, they saw a very large, sleek looking engine. She had bright yellow wheels, gleaming violet paint, and a very smooth round front. She was pulling three smart looking coaches behind her, and she was wearing the most satisfied grin on her face. And she sticks the landing for another electrical entrance. Thank you, thank you, it was nothing. No autographs, please, I just... Uh, hello? What's the matter? Was my entrance not flashy enough? I wanted to bring a boss brand with me, but my driver said... <laughs> no, no. It was plenty flashy and impressive. It's just that... It's just that we won't expect my new engine tonight. Or a big purple spaceship. Spaceship? I'm no spaceship. I'm Kana, the bullet train. They call me that because... Whoosh! I'm faster than a speeding bullet. I'm probably the fastest engine in the world. What? But, but I'm the fastest engine in the world. Tell her, Gordon. But Gordon just said nothing. He stared at Kana in awe. <clears throat> well, anyway, 
Welcome to Sodor, Kana. What brings you here? I do, Emily. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford have a friend who asks that I give Kana a trial run on Sodor. Um, sir, I've seen electric engines on the mainland, and don't they need big power lines? If Sodor doesn't have any of those. Not yet, Rebecca, but I have been planning to turn one of the branch lines into an electric line. The project shall take some time, but when it's finished, Connor will be the first to run the line. Until then, I've got a pretty strong battery and I'm eager to glow. Glow? Well, like a light bulb. <laughs> Good one. It means I'm just excited to show what I can do tomorrow. Oh yes, that reminds me. Tomorrow we'll be conducting a special trial run from Nafa to Vickerstown to see how fast our newcomer can go against two engines. Like a race? No offense, sir, but I thought you didn't like races on the main line. <coughs> well, it, um, it wasn't necessarily my idea per se, Edward. You see... We thought a race might be a fun way to test Kana's abilities. Indeed. Spencer, you shall be racing as well. <laughs> Naturally. And I shall have one of my fastest, most reliable engines in the trial. Oh, sir, I'm honored. I will do my best to... Uh, I was referring to Gordon, James. Oh. Me? Uh, that is, uh... I'd be honored, sir. Honestly, Gordon, why are you so paranoid about this electric engine? They're just a silly fad, after all. <laughs> Is this a thing between them? Ooh, can I join in? I preferred if you didn't. But that does remind me, does your battery need charging, Connor? I should be fine, sir. I just changed it, and I don't want to be too charged when I'm whooshing down the line tomorrow. <laughs> Someone's full of herself. That night, Kana stayed in the good shed at Tidmouth. She was so excited about the race the next day that she fell right asleep. The other engines were all dozing, too, except for one. Gordon couldn't sleep. He was wide awake and looking very distressed. Lucky for him, another engine took notice. Ooh, Gordon, what are you still doing up? You have a big day tomorrow. Uh, I can't sleep, Rebecca. I'm thinking. Thinking about what, Gordon? About how much things have changed. Um, so. I can still remember when I was young and green. I and my many brothers and sisters were the new steam engines at the time. The strongest, the fastest, the best. Even when I came to Sodor, I felt like a king among engines. You watch me, little engines, as I rush through with the express. That'll be a splendid sight for you. <laughs> it sounds like some things never change, eh, Mr. Fastest and Best? <laughs> I wish I could say things never change. But they changed quite a bit. I'm still the same. But as the years went by, I've seen newer, even faster, and stronger engines taking over. Diesels, high-speed trains, and now, electric engines. Looks like your time is up, Steve Kettle. We diesels are a new future. <laughs> Meanwhile, my many brothers and sisters, all gone. Clang Scotsman and I are the only ones left.
I don't blame Kana in the least. It's just hard to accept how different the world has become. You've changed too, Gordon. You don't think so, but from what I've been told, you used to be much more boastful and kind of mean. But you're wiser, kinder, and, well, still kind of boastful, let's be honest. But you're still plenty useful. You know how I know? How? Because I was brought in to help you with the Express. But that hasn't stopped you from giving it your all, has it? You've got years of experience that most of us wish we had. No faster, newer engines can take that away. Hmm. She may be naive, but she's right. I've come too far to just give up being fastest and best now. I'll show that fancy electric engine, and that pompous Spencer too. I'll show them all. At last, Gordon fell asleep, his boiler bubbling with determination. Tomorrow finally came, all the stations along the main line were given big notices that read, Trains postponed for trial run. Napford Station was the busiest of all. Gordon, Spencer, and Kana all waited impatiently at the platforms, each carrying two coaches behind them. People and engines gathered all around the station in anticipation. The people were excited to see a new fancy engine at the platform, and the engines, in particular, were eager to see the race. Well, most of them were. <laughs> it should have been me. Oh, me? I beat Gordon in a race once. <laughs> Are you two always this serious? Come on, lighten up. This is going to be fun. <laughs> if only you consider falling behind superior engines to be fun. <laughs> Hope you're not calling yourself superior, Spencer. <laughs> Hope you're ready to do your best today, youngster, because I'll certainly be doing mine. Electric! Now remember, this is just a trial run to Vickerstown, so no record breaking. You may stop for coal, water, or battery recharges. I think he's talking to you, Spencer. Spencer just wished crossly. Speaking of which, Connor, do you need to charge your batteries? I've got more than enough energy to win this race, sir. At that moment, the guard's whistle blew, the green flag waved, and the race was on. Well, but as they approached Crovin's gate, it finally happened. Making it here from Napford used a lot of water, and Gordon and Spencer started slowing down. 
they had no other choice but to stop for water. Bad luck, fellas. Can't wait to see who comes in second. Meet you there. Oh, that arrogant little bug zapper. This is unfair. This is just unfair. I'm supposed to be the fastest. Oh, shut up, will you? For once in your life, Spencer. Can't you just lose gracefully? Easy for you to say, Gordon. You were never a winner. You had nothing left to prove. You're wrong. I wanted to show that I was just as capable as the newer, faster engines. And I wanted to show that I was irreplaceable. All we've shown today is what a couple of fools we are. A couple of old fools, way past their prime. They felt a little better after a long drink, but it didn't make them forget how far behind they really were. Still, they decided to try and finish the race anyway. Neither one of them could beat Kana, but they could still beat each other. But as they entered the final stretch before Vickerstown, a big surprise was waiting for them. There was Kana ground to a halt just outside the station. Why has she stopped? She hasn't even reached the platform. Who cares? This could be our chance, old boy! We can still win! Why have you stopped? My battery ran dry. I hadn't charged it since last night. Oh, why did this have to happen today? I was this close. Kana, it's just a trial. Sir Topham had even said it's not a real race. It's not just a race. I wanted to show that I was just as good as any running steam engine. J just as good? Not better? I've heard so many stories about famous steam engines. Have you not heard the one called the Flying Scotsman? <clears throat> uh, yes, you might say I have. That engine is a living legend. That kind of engine whose name everyone knows, that's kind of the engine I want to be. Instead, I'm just a silly little bug zapper who stumbled at the finish line. Gordon felt even sillier. All day he and Spencer were afraid of Kana replacing them, but it turns out she wanted to be just like them. Gordon, what are you doing? We already lost the race. Perhaps. But there's no sense in not finishing at least. Kana couldn't help but smile too. Well, well, well. Broken down, have we? <laughs> oh dear, that's the problem with these newfangled machines. They always need to be rescued. What a pity. You know that better than anyone, Spencer, considering how I rescued you the first time we met. Uh, yes, well, it doesn't matter, because I won the race today. Indeed you did, Spencer. Although, I seem to recall saying this wasn't really a race, but a trial run. And yet, you three tried a little harder than I expected to get here. 
Spencer, were you trying to prove something? I, uh, that is to say, I merely wish to demonstrate just how irreplaceable I was in your case. You see, I heard you saying you'd fancy an electric engine, and... Oh, <laughs> Spencer, how could you be so naive? We could never replace you. Your pride may enter the station before you do, but you're practically a member of our family. Despite his embarrassment, Spencer's heart warmed a little after hearing this. Speaking of pride... I suppose Gordon was worried about being replaced as the fastest engine on Sodor. How did you know, sir? Ho 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 ho. I know my engines more than you think, Gordon. I know you're not used to changes, but I also know that you're one of my most reliable engines. So I knew you set your pride aside to help an engine in need. As for you, I admire your determination and attitude with the others, Kana. But if someone advises you to charge your batteries before you leave, I'd be in your best interest to listen. Yes, sir. Does that mean I fail my trial? On the contrary, that was one of the smoothest rides I've had in quite a while. And outside of charging issues, you performed rather well today. However, until the electric branch project is finished, you shall be assigned to passenger duties along Edward's branch. You mean, I can stay? I wouldn't have it any other way. Electric! Hello everybody! I heard that my brother was helping trial a new engine today. <laughs> From the looks of it, he was an example to all of us today. Hello there, miss. F f flying Scotsman? Brother? I did say I knew him. Kana said no more. She just stared and mumbled in admiration. Since that trial run, Kana has become a proud member of the Sodor Railway. Until the electric branch was ready, she took a smaller express from Napper to Brendam Docks. The passengers were thrilled with how fast and efficient she was, and it was always exciting to see her whoosh along the line. Gordon and Rebecca showed her how to adjust to life on the railway. Kana loves her new life on Sodor. She is friendly to everyone she meets and will occasionally challenge them to a race. Most of the engines think she's great fun, but others, mm. especially James, can get a little Smart jealous. But that's a story for another day. And what about Gordon? Well, Gordon feels more confident in his place on the railway now. He knows the world will keep on changing for better or worse, but he also knows that no matter what comes his way, he'll be ready for it, thanks to the experience he's gained over the years and the many friends he's made along the way.